Hello my beautiful glam fam and welcome to today's video. We're testing out some new Gucci. I have the brand new Gucci highlighter. Oh my gosh, you guys. This gel powder is insanely beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to see how this performs on my mature skin. I did swatch all five shades for you guys in store, so I will show you in-store footage and outdoor footage, so it helps you make a decision if you have this on your Sephora list. If you're new here, I'm Christy. I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get glowing. Let's go, girl. Glam fam, let's jump right into it. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm so excited, you guys. So I have both the Gucci blush, bronzer, and now the highlighter. Oh my goodness, this just launched at Sephora. So I did pick up shade three, which is like a warm champagne, but I do have swatches of all of the shades that I took in my local Sephora. So you guys will be able to see those in just a second, but let's jump into those details really quick. So this brand new Gucci Glow Powder Gel Highlighter retails for $59. US dollars. Now the Sephora site keeps messing up the size of this product. So this is the second time now. So this is actually 0.35 ounces and 10 grams of product. So you're looking at about $5.90 per gram. Just keep in mind, this is a luxury designer brand. We all know it's Gucci, we're gonna pay for it. This is made in Italy and it does have a 12 month shelf life. And you do get five shades to choose from. Really gorgeous. I'm very happy with the shade I chose. And I did utilize it as an eyeshadow as well today, so I will show you guys how I applied that. Let's take a look at those swatches outside. So the first shade I swatched is 01 Sunrise Gold, which is a soft champagne. And then you have 02 Frosted Lilac, which is a gorgeous pearl lilac shade that will look really beautiful as a eyeshadow as well. And then the shade I got, 03, which is a warm gold, and that's a champagne gold. So there's two champagne, there's one that's a little bit lighter, and then the one I got, which is 03. And then you also have 04, which is an opal pink, and that is a rose bronzer. That is what it's described as. Gonna be gorgeous for those tan to darker skin tones. And then for my deep skin tone ladies, we have 05 Warm Bronze, which is a deep bronze. And that one is so incredibly pigmented. Oh my gosh, you guys, those swatches are so pretty. That texture is just insanely good. I really, really enjoy this formula. I'm really impressed by it. So this is described as the Gucci House's first powder gel highlighter, which was created for that ultimate radiance enhancer to reveal your vibrant emotions. That's how they described it. It's powered by the glow lighting capturing technology. This formula is infused with high concentration of pearls in a unique powder gel emollient texture for a light reflecting multi-dimensional glow finish. This illuminating powder melts into the skin and enhances your complexion's radiance. Let's take a look at the ingredients. I love that this is a very short list. There is no coconut derivatives in here, so very happy about that. We have mica as the second ingredient, but we have dimethicone as the first ingredient. There's just really not much there. I am so excited, you guys. Let's just jump into this application. Let's take a look at that packaging. Oh my God gosh, you guys, that is, I mean, it's just stunning. If you're a packaging girl, you're gonna love it. Just like the bronzer and the blush, everything Gucci does is just fantastic. I'm telling you guys. And I like that it's nice and slim because this is a little chunky, but this comes with a brush. I almost wish they would take this price down and take out the brush because I never use it. Uh, just like they did with the blush. They kept these very, very similar. I mean, just gorgeous. I mean, just look how, how beautiful that looks. So I did already apply the bronzer and the blush. So I went in with my O2 bronzer first, and this is just my favorite shade. I have a full in-depth review on 
this from years ago now. Uh, I have tried shade four, I wanna say. A three was the original shade I did in the original review, but shade two is my absolute favorite, and that's what I have on. And then I went in with the Gucci blush. I'm testing out this Hourglass. I picked it up during an Ulta sale, and this is the Hourglass number 15 brush. I know they came out with a liquid bra blush to go alongside of it. I didn't wanna pick up that blush because it was packed with coconut derivatives, so that was a no-go for me. I was so disappointed because I really wanted to try out that blush, but I did pick up the brush, so I applied it with that. I didn't get too much pigment from it, so I ended up going in with my Rose and Ben, and this is the C40 brush, and that gave me just a little bit more pigment. So this doesn't really show up on me. I like the original color I picked up, and I switched it for this one, and I'm I'm sad now. But you can check out my original Gucci blush review, uh, I think from a couple of years ago now, or last year, I can't remember, and you will see the other shade I picked up. I like that one much better. So I am gonna use my Alexandra Anel and Rougher Collaboration brush, and this is the AA01. I really enjoy this brush for highlighting, and also blush. You can kind of do one side as blush, one side as highlighter. I absolutely love this brush. You guys know my Wayne Goss airbrush is my absolute holy grail highlighter brush so we'll kind of try maybe one on each side this is not available anymore the Wayne Goss please bring this back it's so good even though this Wayne Goss airbrush is not available he does have a new series and he has one called the F1 highlighter brush I don't have that one so I can't tell you guys if it's amazing but it looks really nice and eventually I would love to pick that up to see if it compares to the airbrush but if you're looking for an affordable option you guys know I always talk about units brushes and the units 305 is a really beautiful highlighter brush that really compares probably the closest to the Wayne Goss airbrush but it is all synthetic hairs there are no natural hairs on that but they do mimic Japanese fude natural bristles just so you guys know. I just wanted to throw that in there. Anyway, let's get into this color. So again, 03 Champagne. Let's do my Wayne Goss first and see how we like that. And I'm just gonna take that. I love these gel-like textures. Jaclyn Hill had a really good one from her Jaclyn Cosmetics line, obviously. That's not around anymore. So I just wanna see the different brushes and how they apply. Really nice. So this is full Japanese Fude type natural brushes. Okay, there's no synthetics involved in that. So you're gonna get a really nice, soft, beautiful glow. This is the over 40 glow. If you're new to my channel, I am 46, gonna be 47 in March, and I do have mature skin, obviously wrinkles. I have had no work here. I've only had Botox here and in the 11s, but nothing over here. So this is going on mature skin right here, and that is beautiful. So let's add in a little bit here and a little bit more there. And I'll show you guys how I applied it as an eyeshadow. So you're getting a really nice soft glow there. So that's with the highlighter and that is without a highlighter. So you get a nice glow from my foundation that I already have on and I mixed my Surratt uh, liquid highlighter with my NARS uh, Sheer Glow foundation. I did add in a little bit of the, because I needed a little bit darker, a little bit of the L'Oreal serum uh, skin tint. So that's what's, that's why I have this kind of glow underneath. Um, my powders didn't quite even cover that up. So that's beautiful. So let's try it with a synthetic blend. So this new, uh, like I mentioned earlier, this new rougher brush, this is the AA01 Alexandra Anel. And this has synthetic hairs in it. So let's try that out. Whew, that is beautiful. Wow. I mean, no, it's not emphasizing any texture, you guys. That is incredible. I love this formula. So I am gonna go outside because I have to go to a hair appointment and have some, I'm putting one tape in on each side uh, for my hair. So I need to do that. So I'll be able to show you guys what it looks like outside. So I'll check in with you and we'll probably end the video with that. But uh, yeah, I wanna, oh my gosh, you guys, that's in. Sanity. That is so beautiful. Holy moly guacamole. All right, I'm gonna add in a little bit more oomph on this side just because this one gave me a little bit more oomph. I'm gonna put a little bit on the nose right there. 
This is a mature skin highlighter, but it also can be very glam. I mean, it's just spectacular. Wow. If you were like, I don't know, I love my Rare Beauty one. I would, I mean, these are gonna be tied right now. I love my Rare Beauty one, but this one just doesn't emphasize anything. I mean, it is, it's, there's, I mean, it melts into the skin where the Rare Beauty is more of a powder, right? It's just, it's beautiful and I love it, but it kind of sits more on the face where this one kind of just kind of goes into the skin. I don't know how to explain it, but that's my best explanation of it. It kind of just melts into the skin. Very good description on the Sephora site because that is exactly what this is doing. This is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I kind of want to pick up the darker one just to use as an eyeshadow, you guys. It was so pretty, oh my gosh. That swatch was insanely pigmented, but really pretty. So I did end up putting it on my eyelids and I used my Gucci bronzer with my Rosen Ben brush. I want to say E29, I'll put it right there. And I used that to do like the most of my eyeshadow base, like the contour area, but I did end up going in with a few of the shades from the Natasha Denona palette, and I just used those darker ones right there. And I kind of just did the, like the inside area, but then I just went in with the Gucci highlighter and used an underneath the Gucci highlighter, I have my Surratt Perfectionist palette as a base, but that just glided on. That's gonna be like my eyeshadow look right there, you guys, that was insanely beautiful and then i went in with the blush and i just used my what's up beauty brush and i just kind of what i normally do to make it monochromatic i just added in some of that really beautiful pink mauve this is a gorgeous color this blush color from gucci if i want to say it's called rosy mauve i'll put the name right there I like it, it just doesn't, if, you, if you're not a blush girl and you're just like, I want a little something, this is a really great shade and tone, especially if you're a twinsy to me, because a lot of people don't like that pop of color. So if you like that, and this is more pink and I had a pink top on, so I wanted to, uh, plus I wanted to use Gucci anyway. So I always kind of top off my looks with my Gucci bronzer. And lately you guys, I have been loving to do this. I just take my Sonia G brush and I use my ambient uh, 04 palette and I just take those two shades and I just go in like that. And I don't know what it is. It just makes my look just come together. I don't know, it's like a finishing bronzer look. It's a finishing powder for darker skin tones, but it just looks insane. All right, we're gonna take my Swede Beauty. You guys know the Miracle Powder is just everything to me. I have a new blush uh, shade coming in from Swede Beauty, so they're sending over another shade because I wanted to try out another one because I'm obsessed with that cream blush. But you guys know this powder just, just it does magic. It does absolute magic. So pretty. We are a beautiful, beautiful company called Stands Out Beauty. We're gonna pull out some of the Stands Out Beauty stuff from the past, but they just sent me over some fresh items. So thank you so much. I adore the owner. She's so incredibly sweet and I love supporting small businesses. And this is gonna be perfect for my bridal girls. So this is I like almost like the iconic London one that I really enjoy this. This is a setting spray that has like a glow to it. So this is a new one. So I just want to make sure it's not Whew. so pretty. And I do have my Amy June lashes on speaking of small companies. Uh, I have my Eve 3D Silk. You can use my code Christy15, I wanna say, uh, as my code, but look at that glow. So I will have a Stands Out Beauty. I mean, this is beautiful. Oh my God, together, chef's kiss right here. So pretty. Pull out my Stands Out Beauty fan and just fan that down a little. All right, you guys, that looks good. All right, I am gonna go get my hair done because I gotta get out of the house now and then I will come back. I kinda wanna wear this a little. I haven't worn it for an extended period of time. See how I like it and then I will be back later on today and give you guys my final thoughts. We'll do like a quick ranking and then I will show you some outdoor footage as well. So stand by and don't go anywhere and I will see you guys in a little bit. 
All right, Glenn fam, so I put my extensions in. Oh my God, you guys, my hair looks so good. Ah, I love it so much. Thank you so much to my beautiful stylist, Diane. All right, you guys, I wanted you guys to be able to see what this is looking like outside. And we are about four hours now into wearing this in I really, really like it, you guys. I love this foundation combo I did today with the L'Oreal Skin Tint mixed with a Surratt Liquid Highlighter and NARS Sheer Glow. Sheer Glow, not NARS Light Reflecting. The old school NARS Sheer Glow. So beautiful. All right, that's besides the point. This highlighter is probably going to be my number one highlighter, you guys. Only because, and I love my Rare Beauty one, but only because I feel like it's so forgiving on mature skin and texture. And I do have texture. I have a lot of sun damage here and fine lines, obviously my age and stuff. So I am obsessed with this and I love the color. If you're a twinsie to me and you like more of those like champagne tones, like I use Rare Beauty Exhilarate and I will show you guys right there the swatch comparisons between those two. P perfect. Just absolutely perfect. I love this highlighter so much, you guys. But I want you guys to be able to see what it looks like in natural daylight without any studio lights. We're very overcast today, so I don't think the sun's going to come out anytime soon. But I don't even think it's going to come out today. So unfortunately, I can't show you guys, but I will, when I go over my final thoughts, I'll show you guys footage from, I'm going to wear it all week and just show you footage from other days as well, or maybe one other day we'll see. So anyway, I want you guys to be able to see an outdoor check in and how it's looking at a four hour point very beautiful and i will see you guys in my final thoughts all right glenn fam back in studio i feel like a whole new woman i have my tape and extensions i was just gonna do one i had a whole pack of bellamy bellamy is just for me the best extensions and i had a whole pack and i thought just one pack and i think it comes with like 20 tape ends and i was just gonna do one on each side and just keep it short but then i was like why do i want to cut this beautiful hair and i don't need a lot of fullness for me it's just a little bit of length i want it and oh i'm so obsessed with this hair you guys i love it so much putting in tape extensions just makes you feel like a whole new woman i don't know it makes my hair look healthier too anyway i choose to have damaged hair because i like my hair platinum and blonde and that's okay you have to do what makes you guys feel beautiful that's all that matters let's dive into my final thoughts on this gucci highlighter okay i already kind of told you guys how i felt in car in in car in the car i am obsessed with this highlighter it is so incredibly beautiful i have to say i don't know if i love the gucci blushes as much as i love the bronzer you guys know this is like one of my top besides surat these are my top two bronzers and I am obsessed with this. So I will show you guys some swatch comparisons right there between this shade and the highlighter shades that I have, just so you guys can get an idea of what those look like. When looking at my top highlighters, I would say Gucci and Rare Beauty, like I already mentioned, are pretty much tied for first and I swatched them all up against each other so you can see the shade differences. I would say Gucci has a little bit more yellow gold in it, whereas Exhilarate, the one I use the most, has a little bit, almost has slight pink undertones into a gold undertone i don't know how to explain it but you can see right there the differences the closest shade i would say and this would be rounding out my top five this would be number two if i'm well technically three if gucci and rare are tied for first and that is the anastasia beverly hills glow seeker highlighter in sun idol that is the most pigmented highlighter I've ever used, but it is incredibly beautiful. But I did swatch the other Rare Beauty shades next to each other. So we also have Enlighten and Mesmerize. Mesmerize is more pink undertone and Enlighten is for my very fair skin tone. But that one actually looks really good on even my light skin tone. I also have been really liking the Gwen Stefani one. I think that highlighter is absolutely stunning. That's Platinum Cowboy. Oh, I'm obsessed with that one too. I also swatched Iconic London. That used to be one of my favorites, but as you guys can see, that really barely shows up on my arm. But I did want to throw that in there. Those are my top highlighters. I like other highlighters, but those are the ones I reach for the most. I was asked by our beautiful Glam Fam sister, Jessa, how this compares to the Dior highlighter, the Maximizer highlighter. 
I am not a fan of that one. I actually picked that up last year before they re-released some new shades and I just did not care for that highlighter. It really showed up as glitter on top of my skin. It didn't melt like the Gucci one does. And I know they re-released the Backstage highlighters. I'll show you guys my original Backstage. That was a beautiful highlighter, but again, they really pick up glitter and emphasize texture. I am just not a fan of the Dior highlighters as much as everyone else is, but I did want it to show you guys that and let you know where I feel between the Gucci and Dior if you're kind of tossed between the two when the Sephora sale hits. I used my points on this Gucci highlighter and I was like, oh my gosh. So I have a Sephora credit card and I use that to grocery shop to do anything. I use my Sephora card. So I was able to pay for most of this highlighter with my rewards, which is nice. But honestly, you guys, if I got this for the 20% off, which wouldn't even be that much off. I mean, it's off, some off, but it's not that much. With my Rouge discount, I would still pay for this. It's just unbelievable. I mean, I'm probably... I will go as far as to say I would pay the $59 for this because you're paying for gorgeous packaging. This is magnetic, by the way, so it just kind of closes like that, which is nice. This doesn't have one of those uh, refill, like this one doesn't either. I, I put the blush away already, but in the back, the blush, I'll show you guys right there up close. It has that, but it never had refills, so I don't know why they put that there. Maybe just for makeup artists to pop it out and put it in their kits. I'm not sure how they, why they did that, but anyway, that doesn't have anything in the back. I wish they were refillable, but anyway, I love the texture. I just think this is just so spectacular no matter what age you are. Even if you're like, Christy, I, I feel like I'm too old to wear highlighter. You're gonna like this because you can really make it, I made it really glowy, but you can make it very subdued. I tried it without any makeup on and it looked really beautiful. So I'll show you guys from another day what it looks like. I'm gonna try to wear, I'm gonna try to film this, not like film me applying it, but film outside what it looks like uh, a couple different days. If I can get that in there, I'll show you guys right there. But for sure, I'll show you on another day what that's looking like. And I'll try to do more of a natural look as well, just so you guys can kind of see. I mean, obviously, you know Christy. She's just a, a glam girl at heart. It's really hard for me. I I'm really am trying to calm it down a little, but I don't know. I'll probably just go to my grave in full lashes. It's just who I am. And it's like, why am I going to try to be somebody I'm not? <laughs> it's who I've been my whole life. So it's not like it's something I just you know, adopt it later on in life. It's just who I am. That's hard to change. <laughs> but I have to tell you guys, I really like the way this is looking, the Stands Out Beauty. Now, it, it reminds me a lot of the iconic London one. Either one, you can't go wrong. This one has a little bit more gold glitter in it. So I think for a little bit more special occasions, I really, especially for your wedding day, so beautiful. I mean, you guys can see in studio right now. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. And then once it sits, it will just kind of go all the way down to the bottom, the gold pearls. MAC used to have one kind of like this as well, which was really good. I think the pump is really nice. It didn't get, you do have to be a little careful. The gold flex kind of, uh, can but then as soon as you get like just taking my Surratt brush I just went like that and it was gone so I like to always after I'm done with my makeup and I usually do this off camera just so you guys know is I take my Chantecaille powder because this is so you guys know I like to use this as like a natural highlighter if I'm not using any highlighter or just I just in general I like that look but I'll just take this just a light amount and so this Surratt brush is so lightweight that it barely distributes product on your face. I mean, it's almost like applying nothing on, but it gets a little something in there and you'll see, I'll take it right there where I have some deep set pores where that can kind of, but even this did not emphasize that whatsoever, but I'll just do that like that where you still see the highlight there, but right where I have some pores or if you people can get kind of get oily there is where I'll put that Chantecaille powder and it's like, magic. These two are like a holy grail for me. So if you're new to this video and you're like, I love Gucci, I love high-end luxury makeup, I am telling you guys, especially for my over 46 skin, this is like, I cannot live without these two products. And this is my Chantecaille Perfect Compact Powder in Petal. That's my favorite shade. I've tried a ton of shades. That's my favorite. And this is the Surratt 
highlighter brush. I would like to get another one of these to actually do highlighter with this, but I can't, I can't let go of this one that I have for my powder and I can't, I'm, I'm not into washing. It's not good to wash your brushes too much, especially those natural hair brushes. So I don't really want to do that. I love this brush. I love this Alexandra Enel one and it picks up this gel really nicely because it is synthetic, but I have to say I still love natural hair brushes. I can't speak today. I still have natural hair brushes for highlighter. I just love this Wayne Goss one and I'm so sad because this is not available anymore and I don't really know what I would do without this brush. I have two of these and I just, it's just unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. So I feel the difference in the texture. That's the only thing. I think I'm gonna start using this one more for blush because I still like this one for highlighter and it just, you can build this one. I mean, even though I showed you earlier, it was natural, you can still build this and it still just does something so incredibly special. And I think that Surratt one is gonna do something very, very similar to that. And you'll probably get even more of a natural, That's this is flat. So this is a little bit more dense than this Surratt one. So I'll show you guys right there. So obviously you can tell that one's fluffier and that one's more dense. But either one you can't go wrong, they're just, so incredibly good. But if you like more of that synthetic blend, then this is my next favorite. So these would be my top three highlighter brushes of all time. And I will put, I'm gonna start doing QR codes. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but a lot of people watch my videos on YouTube TV on their big screens. And a lot of our Glam Fam sisters, hi Amber, I know there's a couple other that watch it on YouTube TV that have let me know. And I know a lot of people tend to do that. I watch it on, I watch anything YouTube. I don't really watch beauty channels, but I watch all my YouTube videos on my computer. Just for me, it's bigger and I can see. And what you can do is, I don't know if you're aware of QR codes. And I know a lot of people, you're gonna like, Christy, I mean, duh, I know what to do with a QR code, but some people don't know what to do. All you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your camera app like that. I'll try to uh, video screen it right there and show you guys, but you'll just take it and then it'll, it will pop up like the website and then you'll just hit that and it will take you to my affiliate link. So I'm gonna start doing that for like when I'm showing you guys products because a lot of people don't know to go down in the description box or they just don't have time to figure that out. And if they're just watching it on their screen, they could just take a picture and it will show it right there and you can just shop on your phone that way. So I'm gonna start doing that for a lot of my products. I will have like my blog information right here where you can just scan that QR code. I don't know which side it's on. <laughs> you can just scan the QR code and it will go straight to my blog and all of my affiliate links are on there as well as like my Amazon favorites, my skincare routine, all the products I use, I label it time-wise, how I utilize my skincare products, all of that will be available just so you guys know that. So I will have QR codes all throughout the videos now. And I think that I saw that on a, I watch other like financial or just business stuff. And I watched a couple other podcasts that were doing that. And I was like, you know what? That's really convenient. So I wanted to try that out on my channel. Let me know if you guys like that. All right, let's jump into my final thoughts of this. So I'm not gonna go through like what I do for foundations and concealers because it's really not that in depth, <laughs> but I will just talk about the five categories. So I always look at application. I like to see how this applies. I also look at the overall finish. How does it look on my mature skin? And if I like that finish, does it emphasize the texture? And then I look at the shade range. Was I able to find a shade and then I look at the overall wear time how it wears on my skin and then I like to look at the packaging shelf life where it's made the overall component and all of that fun stuff and then I just give you guys a total glam score I reach for 25 out of 25 but sometimes we just don't get there so application oh my gosh you guys it just was like butter it just melted onto my skin so effortlessly i mean you can even just do this with your finger that's how easy it is you can use it with a sponge a lot of people like to do highlighters with their sponge and that also gives a really beautiful finish especially if you're doing a no makeup makeup look so you can use any tool with this it just applied beautifully solid five out of five as far as the overall finish this didn't emphasize my texture it glided on 
one and just looks so gorgeous on the skin. It looked like skin, but just enhanced in such a beautiful way. It's very buildable. So you can make it very natural, but also build it up like I did today. Very glam. The overall finish is a solid five out of five. As far as the shade range, oh my gosh, you guys, five shades is not bad for a designer brand. And it's a highlighter. You're not expecting 50 shades out of this. So I think five shades right out of the bat is pretty darn good. And I really liked it. I really liked that they had different, I really think they're flexible in a way where anyone could wear this shade between light. Even fair could probably get away with this shade, like on the darker side of fair, all the way up to tan skin. So I do feel like that shade range was very flexible. You have your lilac tones, which are beautiful for highlighters. I would love to have every single one of these. That's how much I love this. And like I said, it looks so beautiful as eyeshadow as well. So it's a multi-purpose product where I think even the deep bronze one would be such a beautiful chocolate latte look. Oh, oh. And you can even use that as like just a highlighted bronzer look. Oh my, on like lighter skin tones. I mean, the shades were stunning, solid five out of five. As far as the wear time, I mean, you guys saw outside, it looked beautiful four hours later. I will let you guys know right there the percentage because I want to keep wearing it just to make sure we don't have any disruptions later on in the week. But overall, the I just think it wears so gorgeous, even on mature over 46 skin. So solid five out of five. As for the packaging, I mean, come on, you guys, this Gucci packaging is they just never let us down Gucci beauty when it comes to packaging. It just is so dainty and classy with a light pink and gold. With a 12 month shelf life, you're gonna get some good time out of this. This will probably go even a little bit longer than that. And I like that it's of course made in Italy. I like that it's travel friendly. It's easy to close. It's not a component that you have to worry about clicking sometimes with uh, some of these products. Like, uh, you know, obviously this is a lot cheaper Cheaper, but this is actually magnetized too, but oh yeah, no, this has a click on it. So the Rare Beauty one has a click. That's the blush one, but the even the highlighter one. Obviously, it's not, you're not gonna get the fancy packaging because you're paying a fraction of the price, let's be honest. So if you're like, I'm on a budget, Christy, that's too expensive, then the Rare Beauty one is really beautiful as well. Again, those are, I would probably, they'll be neck to neck because that's how much I love them both. So overall packaging is a solid five out of five. We're looking at a total glam score of 25 out of 25. You guys, it's just unreal. Like this highlighter is so good. If this was on your list and you're like, I don't know, is it gonna perform well? Is it gonna look good on mature skin? Without a doubt, I would highly recommend this. And would I repurchase this product? Absolutely, 100%, you guys. I mean, again, I wish I can have every single shade. I'm gonna save up my money, and anytime there's a sale, I'm just gonna nab one of them because <laughs> I don't know about the lightest one, that might not look as good on me, but the lilac one, I definitely want, and the bronze one, I definitely want. Those are the two that I have on my list. I'm like, oh, those are so gorgeous. So everything I have on my face, I will have down in the description box below. Again, as always, you can, shop right there. If I'm going to show you guys the QR code, I'll give you time to take a picture of that. And that will take you right to my shop, my page where I have everything I have on my face listed from my skincare products to my base makeup, to my eyeshadow, to my top, to my jewelry, everything will be there in that QR code. I will have all of that down in the description box below if you prefer to shop that way. And again, it's always on my blog as well. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to spend it with me. I hope you enjoyed that review and I gave you enough information let me know in the comments what you guys think of this highlighter. If this was on your Sephora list, don't get it now. Wait till the Sephora sale. I mean, it's already gonna be maybe by the time I release this, October. I think end of September is when I'll be releasing this video. So I would say the Sephora sale is probably gonna be like the end of October, early November. That's typically when it is. But you guys know, I will always let you know in the community tab right there. So you can click on and see. I always update you with sales and new shorts that I post during the week. So definitely check 
check that out. And if you are new here before you go, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button, click the post notification bell, join our beautiful glam fam. We're here every Sunday and we just love for you to become part of our family. And if you did like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up when you guys hit the like button and comment below and say hello. It really does help my videos out. I am here during the week. Usually Monday through Wednesday is when I post shorts. You can also follow me on Instagram where I post Instagram reels and also on TikTok. I do have a blog at christialore.com as I already mentioned. And again, you can just scan that QR code and that will take you right to my blog where there is a wealth of information there for you guys to check out. Thank you so much for joining me today and be sure to check out that video next and I will see you guys on the next one. Love you guys. Bye. Someday.